We call this the lot. And if your vehicle's here, you've been towed. But this is the end of the story. Won't you come back with me and I'll show you where you messed up. There's several reasons why your vehicle might be towed. Let's say you're parked somewhere where you really knew you shouldn't have parked, or your vehicle was perceived as abandoned, or maybe you're in an accident. In any event, none of us wants to be that guy. Hey, Tony. Hey, how you doing? Good. How are you doing today? Doing fine, thanks. All right. What do we got going on here? Uh, police called me out today to remove this vehicle. Oh, yeah? Well, under what circumstance? He was uh, parked illegal, no parking zone. So, Tony, tell me, tell me, what is the number one cause why people get their cars towed? I would say street cleaning and parking illegal. Seriously? Yes, sir. Seriously. And, and what is the... So, basically, people are just negligent to the signs that are... Are the signs clearly posted? Clearly posted. They post anywhere from three to four signs in a block. Okay, so let's say a person parked their car in a no-parking zone for right. street sweeping. Take me through. What's the process? What would happen? The, the, the City of Richmond Police Department would, would call us out and we would remove the car that's parked in okay. a no-parking spot. So the police department actually determines that a vehicle is parked illegally. The, the, your service has nothing to do with determining whether or not the car is parked illegally. Yes, yes, sir. The City of Richmond, the police department, they determine whether we tow the vehicle or not. In the City of Richmond's fine is a minimum of $95. Shut the front door. $95. $95. $95. Man, I could think of a lot of things I could do with $95. You know, I could too. So basically, this is a clear-cut case of you either pay attention up front or it'll cost you cash in the end. Yes, sir. Right now, what we're going to do is we're going to hit the streets. We're going to go over some of the do's, some of the don'ts, equip you with a little bit of knowledge so you don't end up being that guy. Here's a perfect example of what I've been talking about. The sign clearly states that you cannot park here on Thursdays after 8 a.m. due to street sweeping. This guy decided that he'd disregard the sign and park here anyway. As you can see, he's getting towed for his trouble. But this isn't the only problem that this causes. The street sweeping crew has to stop completely for this one car. And could you imagine what our streets would look like if we didn't clean them? Thanks, that guy. Look at this fabulous spot I found. I've done everything I thought I was supposed to do. I looked on the walls. I see that it's not marked. They're not going to tow me if I park here. But if I pay closer attention, I notice that this is clearly marked a reserved spot for a private business. And trust me, they will call and have your vehicle towed. All right, Tony, so we got this great big sign. It's colorful. It's got a lot of information. And they've even kind of made it idiot proof and drew pictures on it for people like me. <laughs> How does a person avoid making mistakes when they're in a hurry? My best advice is to slow down, take your time, read signs. All the information is clearly there. All the information is clearly there. Take your time, read the sign. Don't roll the dice and try your hand. Don't be that guy. We're not always going to be able to find a free place to park when we need to run in someplace in a hurry. Sometimes we're going to have to reach in our pocket, pull out some loose change, and feed a meter but it's a heck of a lot cheaper to stick 50 cents in this meter than it is to have to go down to the lot and pay the $95 fine that's assessed by the city to recover your vehicle. It's not worth the risk. Don't be that guy. Seriously, don't be that guy. If you want to park here, pick another day. The city of Richmond hosts several events every year. I'm standing at the site of one of the largest, the annual Monument 10K Run. This is where thousands of people will gather and take off running without anybody chasing them. I don't get it either. Having said that, in order for this to be a successful event, the city will be forced to enforce parking restrictions. And again, these restrictions will be clearly marked. And I'm guessing that those people that ran in the 10K not only ran, but they also ran home. Don't be that guy. Take the time, read the sign. The perfect spot. If you pay attention, they're definitely out there. Tony, we've spent a lot of time talking about why a person's vehicle could be towed. And we've spent some time looking at signs that educate people as to where to park and where not to park. In fact, Tony, that's just a fraction of what goes on down in Cyber. That's correct, Chris. Not only do we do tows, but we'll jump start you, we'll change your tire, we'll even unlock your car. 24 hours a day, Chris, winch outs. 24 hours a day? 24 hours a day. You hear that? 24 hours a day. That's awesome.